Hey guys, James from Siki Manufacturing. Today I'm gonna to show you a step-by-step -step guide how to install a new clutch, flywheel, and pilot bearing on your LS engine. All right, so next step before we drop this in is we're gonna put a brand new clutch and flywheel on this thing. But the other thing we gotta get taken care of right away is this pilot bearing. So we're gonna knock the old one out, put this brand new one that came with our Exidy clutch in there. Uh, it's basically a needle bearing, so they're pretty durable. It should last quite some time. My tool of choice is this homemade hand ground tip with a screwdriver on the back side to make it tight. Works pretty good. All right, I'm gonna clean this hole out, get it ready for the new bearing. We're gonna install the new bearing. You can use a couple different methods. Uh, the old socket and hammer seems to work pretty good, so we're not gonna reinvent the wheel here. Just line it up and just definitely want to start slow. Make sure it's going in square. You're gonna drive it in until it's about flush with the inner surface of that crank. We're gonna get this new flywheel installed. Important to remember that you gotta put RTV silicone sealant on these flywheel bolts because there's oil and these bolts go all the way through the crank to the point where oil in the crankcase will leak if you don't put silicone on them. There's three steps to torquing these down. You're gonna snug it up by hand and then go to 15 foot pounds in a crisscross pattern. Recording. All right, so first one is gonna be 15. Then 36. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna do 36. Final one is 74. Our next step, we gotta get this oil that is on the flywheel surface to keep it from rusting while it's in packaging. You don't wanna leave that on there when you put the brand new clutch disc on. So brake clean works great. All right, now it's ready. On this particular flywheel, it's an Exidy flywheel, so we gotta install these little stainless steel pins. It helps align the pressure plate. This Exidy clutch kit came with the alignment tool, which makes it real easy. Slide that in. Now we're gonna put the pressure plate on. Line the steel pins we just installed. I like to put just a little bit of Loctite on these pressure plate bolts just to make them sure they don't come out. All right, so first step on this torque sequence on the pressure plate is supposed to be seven foot-pounds. I like to just get it snugged up by hand, same crisscross pattern like the flywheel bolts. And then I usually skip to the second step. All right, so the torque sequence on this pressure plate is gonna be seven, 18, 30, and then 52 in the crisscross pattern. That's it. 
All right, guys, that's a wrap on the step-by-step -step install for your clutch, flywheel, and pilot bearing. Make sure you follow the torque specs and sequence for your flywheel and clutch manufacturer. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. See you next time.